Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here I am with another LEGO Hero Factory review for that. And today's event is on four of the villain set, or the four villain sets from 2010, of course. So I got all the boxes here, and we'll, let me take a look at one of them. See, interesting shape of blocks, which we have seen in a couple other sets other themes over time of course he has the logos and picture of the set that comes within the name choking hazard and the age group name set number and amount of pieces and also of course the important uh, tribute to bonacle logo of course which which again they did only for this first wave never in the rest of hero factory you know but whatever see there's the name in both English and French or so and the other side which we tilt it to the side picture of the set finding any of the uh, uh, heroes of course and the feature and also their stats and herofactory.com of course and on the top is actual size of the head of course so also first time figuring out one of the times of them fig finding out which villain they face. So, Meltdown here is facing Stringer, of course. Against Bulk. Against Nally Breeze. And then against Mark Sir. And so now, on to it, the instruction manuals. Same pickers on the front of the boxes and everything. And win advertisement, Evil Wing Kid. And then Lego Club, all the pieces. But in the front part of each one is a little ad of HeroFactory.com and also Map of Maka Hero City, of course. But well, there's different ads in all of these. Also, we build heroes promotional poster thing. Same ad. Also, Add for 2010 Clone Wars sets, of course. And different facing advertisement. Same stuff. Oh, hang on. <coughs> Bless me. So, first off, is mine and many people's favorite of the villains of, of this wave. Meltdown, of course. As since he which kind of reminiscent of the Baraki, of course. That's which I'll point out some of that. So like for the ground. Uh, for the legs of which, as you see, which are the dinky Shadowmatorian feet and also the same exact Shingard pieces that Matanui and Akar from Latorian Legends of Monocle had. But still have the wobbly feature to it. But except they're on uh, Metru limbs. And also, what he and some of the villains of this wave have are for the Shingard pieces are the uh, Ben 10 Shingard, or from, or from the Ben 10 Shin, or sets, of course. Where it's like one single piece, but explodes is a little different, which we'll go, in, go over in a minute. But. And, and, although Vapor is who had different colors to them, unless if you had all the Ben 10 sets, then <coughs> okay, then they had different coloring to them. And also for the torso piece of which, if it's actually just the same old torso piece as the heroes of this wave, of course, which most of the sets, well, except for Rotor and Von Nebula didn't exact have since they were bigger sets. Although, kind of odd and a little lazy, but whatever. 
And to get the headpiece working, he does have the scrawl armor. Or of course, with Glatorian neck and connecting to connecting to the headpiece, which is kind of similar to all of the Barakis, which connects that way, and also the old little eyeball piece, of course. Although you can also use, if you want to change the color, you can also use regular Lego diamond pieces for that. So they do work fine for that. Take note of that for mocking or and whatnot. And speaking of mocking. Also, you got the uh, toxic waste canisters with a, little, a couple of stickers on them. Because also, these sets of which did give a lot of stickers to put on, like to these little pieces that are exclusive to him and also to Thunder. Well, some of the villain sets also have these, but most of them are all, have a lot of stickers on them. And also, it does have the like uh, Mari tubes. And just like Vastus of Glatorian Legends kind of did, and also a few other sets did, is where it has this smaller tube in them looking like toxic waste is flowing. And what's kind of what he doesn't have is little caps to put on to it, off to the tops of his casters, of course. And also have the uh, Thornax launcher pieces in black. But, or as they're now called, meteor launchers, and you can shoot it off like so. And a whole bunch of Mad Tax claws in yellow, and also a great piece of him is uh, Kalma's tentacle in light green. So if you want to make some uh, like tentacle characters with green tentacles, this is definitely worthy to have. I think that is it with Meltdown. And now on to the Explode. Which does have the regular Inaka feet. And also the Shingar pieces again. And also those uh, Mata limbs in bright red. And like we've seen with Akar in Glatorian Legends line, of course. And unlike the other villain sets, his uh, thighs have three pieces rather than one single piece, of course. And also, does have those kinds that have a little slot above the plus rod, like the hero sets also did. Not sure if that was just for this or whatever. But, and the uh, chest and neck area built just about like that of meltdowns, but scrawl armor but in dark red of which great for mocks so if you want multiples of him then make it perfect symmetrical of course and for the helmet which if i take that off you see it's kind of like a tuma and paraka hakan and stranius uh Gatorian legends uh helmets all fused together of course and like yellow a headpiece, of course. <coughs> Sorry. And also, do you got the Toa Mata arm pieces, normal hand pieces, and uh, Krikas, or Mystica Krikas, is a, is a back leg piece, but in uh, red and yellow, of course. Great for Mox and also gives his good fire look to it. And does have the Thorax launcher or otherwise Meteor launcher off there as well. And has three of these uh, spiky pieces, which also come with Von Nebula, of course. But of course, although Explode Hero, which is the only one that ever uses the extra ball joint on for that on the torso piece, but well. Core Corroder kind of does as well, but in a different way, of course. And next of which is Thunder. And with, but he actually has a few good recolors of pieces, like his feet pieces, which are actually just the star's feet, but in this neat silver color, which also nice for that mocking regular Vlocky limbs and just like the others Ben 10 uh, 
uh, thigh pieces, of course. It has the arms built similarly to that of Meltdowns, but also do got those big bulk pieces, but in uh, like gray, of course. And also Thornax Meteor Launcher, of course. And another one of it for a chest plate. And uh, besides that, also built like Meltdowns and do get a uh, Matinui and Akar's uh, Scarab or Scarabax piece, of course. But probably to be like a special conductor or something since he's his power is electricity. And also do get a Nika shoulder plate, but put forward rather than sideways. Although it kind of blocks the way of the articulation, but although I think it like this would have been just fine. Oh wait, actually it still kind of does work out. It has for his head. <coughs> Sorry, allergies. Anyways, as for his oh, special hand, which would has three points of pivoting, like downwards and sideways. And of course, although these pieces do have three points of uh, connecting, of course, if you are to make some like pokoro, pomatorin kind of mocks. So you can definitely use them for hammers and things if you wanted. And as for his uh, helmet, one says that can be used for some dinosaur character mocks, but not sure about that, but whatever. But at least it kind of resembles that of the Tohardika sets a bit. So if you were to like make a custom uh, a Wenua Hordika set, then this of which does work out for that. Although in the Nickelodeon episode of the miniseries, he, of which did have actual hands hold an actual handpiece holding the meteor launcher. Same with Meltdown, of course. But although it would have been nice if they did that, but whatever. And next to which is probably my second favorite of the villains, of which Corroder, since. Also kind of toxic waste themed, also like Meltdown. And as you see, his main one, the legs of which, just about the same as Meltdown's, but without the shin guard pieces. And the torso of which, also the same as the other sets of which. And also the same piece as the other villains had, but also these large spiky blade pieces, but you get a lot of them. Nice for locking, which Vapor, uh, also of bulk and Vapor, also had this, but in blue, but with. And also again, Meteor Launcher added to there as well. If I detach this. And also do get one of these special Technic pieces which I'm pretty sure is common in Technic sets, but whatever. And also do get, also do get this one specialty piece, where it's kind of like the rod pieces used for the Titan pistons, but just a lot smaller to that. Kind of neat, kind of nice for Mox and all. Although his arms of which are just kind of small Avatar arms, of course which don't bend much, although would have been perfect, preferable if they were the more opened kind of ones, but whatever. And as for his uh, helmet, Mask of Witch, which you can definitely use for some lizard characters if you wanted, like big large horn and whatnot. And of course, with a few little teeth to it. Although I think this technique piece here should have been in black to, or even bright green to help blend with the color scheme a little more, or whatever. Although one neat thing you can also do with this seem two-legged. Although in the mini series he kind of does go four-legged like that, so you can pose him like that if you wanted. And 
Let me get them all together and we'll make the final verdict. So for my overall verdict, I think they of which are quite good or pretty cool sets for summer 2010. Like a lot of good mocking pieces, and especially some good recolors of pieces. Well, mostly for explode and meltdown, of course. There's and of course meltdown corroder, toxic waste theme to that. Also reminiscent to that of toxic repa in breakout, of course. And of course, some interesting themes to characters, which I we never got to see in Bonacle, of course. So at least these did do well for that. Although some of folks of which did find these a little bit better than the hero sets, but I but I think they're about as equally good of sets, of course. So in the course. And so now if you still have all these sets from back in the day. Well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say truly go ahead and get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, and share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.